hello everyone welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another beautiful integral integral from minus infinity to infinity cosine of x square plus n square over x square dx and here n greater than to zero well what do you think mm, how to start okay first uh, the angle of cosine here we have x square plus n square over x square so uh, i'm going to simplify x square plus n square over x square so uh, we can uh, write this expression uh, as a perfect square so we can write x minus n over x perfect square and uh, middle term we know we have minus 2 times n so we should add 2 times n then we can write our integral is equal to minus infinity to infinity uh, cosine of now instead of this expression we have x minus n over x perfect square plus 2 times n dx then we know cosine of a plus b is equal to uh, cosine of a cosine of b minus sine of a sine of b so we can uh, simplify so we have minus infinity to infinity here uh, cosine of x minus n over x perfect square uh, times cosine of 2 times n uh, then minus so minus now here sine of x minus n over x perfect square times sine of 2 times n dx okay then uh, you know we can split this integral into two different integrals uh, and uh, cosine of 2n sine of 2n uh, we know constant so we can take outside of the integral sign so we can write uh, here cosine of 2 times n integral from minus infinity to infinity cosine of x minus n over x perfect square dx then here minus sine of 2n we know constant and here minus infinity to infinity sine of x minus n over x perfect square dx okay then uh, here uh, we know we have now uh, limit minus infinity to infinity here also we have minus infinity to infinity uh, we know uh, about uh, even and not function uh, so we can write uh, this is equal to 2 times limit 0 to infinity so we can write here 2 times cosine of uh, 2 times n here also we have 2 so i'm going to take 2 as a common factor so 2 times cosine of 2n integral from 0 to infinity cosine of x minus n over x perfect square dx then here minus sine of 2 times n integral from 0 to infinity sine of x minus n over x perfect square dx okay now uh, what can we do i am going to recall the uh, cauchy skolomilic transformation i think you know about it uh, as i remember uh, i didn't prove that uh, equation that formula transformation so let us do it uh, in near future. Well, this is the uh, Skolomitz transformation. Uh, when a comma b greater than to zero, uh, we have integral from zero to infinity uh, f of uh, a x minus b over x uh, perfect square uh, dx. We know this is equal to one over a integral from zero to infinity f of x square dx x square dx well um, now we have uh, this type of integrals here and here so we can apply this formula this transformation therefore uh, we can write our integral is equal to 2 times cosine of uh, 2 times n and for this integral uh, now we have integral from 0 to infinity now here we have a a we know we have uh, one coefficient of x 
So we have cosine of x square, cosine of x square dx, then minus sine of 2 times n integral from 0 to infinity. Here same as we have sine of x square dx. Okay, in uh, previous videos, uh, we evaluate uh, these integrals, uh, personal integrals uh, in uh, two or three different methods. Uh, so, I will add the link in the description and also make a card. Uh, so, we know here 2, uh, here cosine of 2 times n and the answer of uh, personal integral we know square root of pi over 2 times square root of 2 minus sine of 2n and here uh, square root of pi over 2 times square root of 2 now we know these two uh, get cancelled so we have square root of pi over 2 times cosine of 2 times n minus sine of 2 times n okay this is the answer for this integral if you like this type of videos, uh, please subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.